about 80% completion. Um, and if you don't have tests, after that point, it's like you, anytime you try to make a change, it's, it's just so likely to regress in some other way that whatever you do, you, you kind of can't make forward progress. And I feel like that's where we've gotten with X11. We, we can't make forward progress. And if we change anything, we're going to cause, we're, we'll fix some things and break other things. And we're not really going to get anywhere. So we're kind of afraid to change anything. Um, and arguably, we do have tests in that we have the user 32 tests. Um, but those tests have to run on Windows. So there's a certain class of things that we can't test because it depends on something that happens, for example, if the window manager decides to minimize a window, that works a little bit differently from a Windows program deciding to minimize a window. And when we have bugs that depend on something that happens in X11, or we have um, something that, that looks fine on the, the wine side in Win32, but on the X11 side, it's not actually there. Like, for example, you might try to, to restore a window um, to a full screen mode. And on in Windows, it looks like it's full screen to the Windows application. But it, the, the X11 window is not full screen. Um, and... I think we should be adding tests for bugs like that. Um, a lot of the gaps that we have from not having those tests falls right now on QA at Code Weavers and at other companies that do QA on some wine-based products. Um, so I don't want to just say we should do this thing and then not give any idea of how to do it. Um, so one thought that I had was that we could add um, some sort of wine-specific API functions to X11 driver that are solely for the tests. So we, we do have um, wine-specific APIs in X11 already. We have ext escape um, functions, which are... I think ext escape only operates on an HDC, so we might have to find something else. Maybe special window messagers are a possibility. I, I don't know exactly. Um, but I think we can then have tests that do things and check things on the X11 side so we can verify a lot more problems. Um, and actually, like, a lot of those things that window managers do, like minimizing a window, can be done through the EWMH protocol because panels have to do it somehow. So we can do it the same way that a panel does. Um, I don't think this is going to fully solve the problem. I do think that, that like even if we do this, it's going to be still difficult to get things changed in X11. Um, I. I think getting to a place where we have a good test suite is going to take a lot of time and effort, but I do think that we need it, that it's a way to, it's something we need to do to improve the quality of patches and just kind of give us a way to like create patches that we can be a little bit more confident aren't going to break anything. Um, that's kind of all, all I have. Uh, I assume there might be some discussion after this. Um, so. 
I don't know. Does anyone have any uh, questions or responses? Everyone thinks this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Principle is not a bad idea. The question is how is it done? Okay. Um, Alexander said, in principle, it's not a bad idea. The question is how it's done, um, which I I gave some vague suggestions of that, but I didn't. Um, I, I haven't fully solved that problem. I haven't really um, tried. I would say the main question is whether it's a Windows boundary that you obsess or whether it's a Unix program that exercises the axiom exactly. Um, the question, Alexander said, the question is whether it is a Windows program like the rest of the tests or a Unix pro program. Um, I'm not sure the answer to that. I am leaning right now towards it being a Windows program, but we would have code in the X11 driver and possibly the Mac driver that allows us to um, access some things on the X11 side. Um, I, I do think that my my thinking with a uh, with a Unix binary is that like it it needs to kind of synchronize itself with other things that are running inside of Wine on the Win32 side, and I think that gets a little tricky. Okay. Um, I think that question is something we don't have to resolve right now. It's you know some something for the the patch review. Uh, someone needs to to build it, and then we can see. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I've already, already lost the question. I, it, it was, I'm trying to understand it. I think it was, the question was, do we want to, um, change something on the Win32 side, do some operation and access X11 directly, um, or... Access X11 directly to check if it has the intended effect, or... Or just go through the X11 driver, I think you said? Yeah. Um, I think my thinking was that we would go through the X11 driver because it's, we don't really have a good way to access, um, X11 directly and access Win32 directly, um, in the same piece of code. So any test we would write that way would have to be in two pieces and they would have to talk to each other and I, I feel that would get really complicated for uh, no real reason. So I, I feel like we would we would do the change on the Win32 side that for this example is supposed to full screen the window and then we would call into the X11 driver to um, ask the X11 driver, is this window actually full screened on the X11 side? And that is how we would do the verification.
Um, say that last part again. Yes. Um, yes, it would have to be a Windows executable. Um, sorry? It seems like if it's a executable, that would require a custom executability infrastructure. Yeah. Um, Zeb said that if we needed a Windows executable, that would require less change to the build architecture. Um, that, yeah, I, I agree. That's why I think that that is the way to go. Um, Alexander disagrees with me, but that that is, I feel, something we can hash out. Um, on GitLab and mailing lists and stuff. So. Um, Francois asks if there are other cases where we might need this. Um, I think so. I, I think um, we, we, for example, might want tests of how the wine command works and how other um, built-in Unix side programs work, and I guess we've previously had that problem and approached it by making an EXE version of the Unix program that we could then test. Um, it's, I can't think of any examples of a Windows DLL where we would need this sort of thing, but I could be wrong. It, well, for, for example, we, we had, um, I guess it's, I guess it did cause some regressions. We had a change to the wine command at some point that um, it, it would call um, start.exe for, to, to execute like anything that it can't immediately figure out how to execute and that caused some regressions and some pain for um, programs that use the wine command like crossover. Um, so that might be something we wanted to test. I don't I don't think that is as essential. Okay. All right. Thanks.